How's it going everyone in this video I'm going to share with you some tips on how to become a better artist because we all want to be a better artist right? In the last video that I did I asked you all to give me some prompts to base some drawings on and there's a lot to choose from I'll use more of these in the future but for today's drawing we are going to be using the prompt futuristic armor and that was suggested by Isaiah who also asks if I can put some new artwork up on the store and it's funny you should say that because the store has been updated with new drawings available to purchase. I'll leave a link in the description. But with that being said let's get on with today's video, let's get some drawing done, I'll give you some tips and advice, you can take something away from them and hopefully become a better artist. Okay so first of all before I start drawing I sometimes create small thumbnail sketches to get an idea of what I'm going to draw. I don't do this all of the time but it's really useful to explore different concepts and variations of your ideas in a series of smaller sketches. When drawing out some thumbnails like this my main focus is in working out a good angle and perspective for my scene. This does require a basic understanding of perspective but you don't have to worry too much about being real accurate when you do these. Try and explore some different compositions until you get an idea of what it is that you want to do. As you can see here, I'm not really drawing anything in detail, instead I'm just blocking out various elements like the figures and the buildings. I'm also keeping the prompt in mind that I'm using, and so I'm thinking of having this scene where two soldiers or something in their futuristic armour are patrolling this street, and so I'm drawing up some different views and seeing which one would work best. Once I have something that I'm happy with, I start to think about how this image would look in detail and I try and visualise the final image. I also think about what else is going to be happening in the image and sometimes it's worth creating a more developed thumbnail sketch to get a better idea of things. But with this one I have a pretty good idea of what I want to draw and so now I start to gather up some appropriate reference images. So at this stage I figure out the images that I need to find, for example in this drawing I'm going to be drawing some futuristic soldiers and there's already a lot of this kind of stuff out there because it's quite a, a popular subject to draw and so I can take a look at what's been done already and that helps give me some ideas. And there's not just one specific image that I'm going to be drawing from here, so just having a, a broad collection of various images around one subject, in this case futuristic soldiers, is useful. I also want these soldiers to be using some guns and so I start to look for some images of weapons that I could use in my drawing. Along with these I find images that I can use as reference for the background. Things like different environments, vehicles and although I'm not going to be drawing directly from these reference images, in some cases you might be but I don't think I will be in this drawing, but what I can do is I can use these reference images and learn a bit more about the subject that I am going to be drawing, take things away from them and it just gives me a better idea of the things that I'm going to be drawing. Instead of going in there blind and trying to draw everything from imagination, I'm able to see details and become more familiar with these things by looking at all of these different reference images. So that's something that I recommend doing and usually once I've done that I can start working on the final drawing. So now it's time to open up the sketchbook and start working on this drawing and I'm going to be drawing in pencil like usual but before you start drawing you should also think about what you are going to be working with. All of these things that I talk about in this video can also be applied to working with different mediums, I, I don't think you have to be working in pencil to take something away from this. But think about your own process when it comes to creating artwork and the mediums that you are going to be working with and try and plan in advance and work out the most efficient way to execute this idea that you have. And it's good to be prepared before you start working, have everything you need at your disposal so that you are ready to start drawing. I mean all I'm going to be working with in this video is this pencil, I also have a ruler and an eraser and then there's this uh, sketchbook that I'm drawing in. All of the equipment will be linked in the description by the way, but with that being said it's time to start drawing. So every time that I create a drawing I have to consider the perspective. I already have an idea of the scene that I want to draw and so I just need to establish the position of the horizon line and the vanishing points. Seeing as I'm working in this sketchbook here, the vanishing points will be off the page which means that I have to estimate the convergence and this is fairly simple once I start sketching in some of the drawing. Throughout the entire process though, I'm always reminding myself of the horizon line that I'm drawing to and making sure that my lines are converging correctly. I've done a few videos on perspective in the past that I recommend watching if you want to gain a better understanding of perspective. 
It's the most important aspect in any drawing and it will come into play every time you draw something. Also on a side note, it's sometimes useful to create a perspective grid for your drawing and this can be done on a separate piece of paper and used as an underlay or you can just do it on the same paper that you are drawing on and then work over it. But it's a good idea to do this if you have trouble estimating the convergence. So a lot of you watching might already know that when I draw, I often render the drawing from the start without outlining much of it, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to outline the entire drawing so that I can work through this in stages and then it's easier for you to follow. So here I'm using a light pencil and I'm starting to work out the placement of everything. And another tip is to work from left to right as well. If you are left handed, then do the opposite, but this means that you will be smudging your lines as you work. And at this stage, I'm taking my time and studying the reference images to draw everything in perspective. Even though I've worked out the overall drawing through creating some thumbnail sketches, I'm still trying new things here and having fun with it. And if something doesn't work, then I'll just use the eraser and draw something else. And I, I suppose that's one good thing about working in pencil like this. Also, if you are working uh, digitally, then the same applies there. And as this is in time lapse, it might be worth me saying that the real time footage for this drawing will be over on the Patreon page, so there's a link in the description if you feel like checking that out. So as I'm outlining this drawing here, I'm going to give a few more tips surrounding some techniques that are useful. Here I'm drawing two soldiers in the street, and I'm assuming they are roughly the same height. I'm drawing them in different positions with one of them being closer to the camera, and so to do this correctly, I can use some scaling techniques. Now I covered this in this figure drawing tutorial so go ahead and check that out but another quick way to check that these are the same height is by looking at how they cross the horizon line. Remember that the horizon line is also our eye level and so it seems to be roughly at the same point as these soldiers eye levels as well. So the most challenging part of this drawing is over with and now it's time to render the image and for this I'm going to swap over to my mechanical pencil. All of the equipment like I said earlier will be listed in the description below. Now I have all of my drawing outlined here and so I jump right in and begin to render this in detail. Because at the outlining stage I was only blocking parts out, it's at this stage when I can also start adding some smaller details and permanently outlining everything. And if you are also using pencils like me, then try and change the amount of pressure you apply and the way you control a pencil to get different results. If you have already outlined everything correctly in perspective, then you should be able to confidently render the drawing. And so now I'll let this play out for a bit in time lapse. So here I've finally finished rendering the drawing but I'm not completely finished yet because it's at this stage when I go over a lot of it and make parts stand out more, make some last minute adjustments and uh, you will most likely have your own style of drawing and some of these things might not apply to you but one thing that I often do in my drawings is I outline the different elements making the outlines bolder if the object is closer to the foreground. 
and this creates a separation. And of course this can be done in other ways as well that might work better. Things like changing the turns and the values, making the background a lot lighter than the parts of the drawing which are closer up, or if you are using colour, then you can also use that to do something similar. But as we are coming to an end of this video now, and uh, as I complete this drawing, I want to give one last tip. And that is to simply draw whatever you want, however you want, as long as you enjoy doing it. Because at the end of the day, that is the most important thing, is to enjoy drawing and have fun with it. And um, I'm kind of losing my voice here, so I'll try and wrap this up. But there's uh, a lot of things that I still need to learn and improve at, and they always will be. But along that journey, I'll do my best to create some videos and document it as much as I can. And this drawing is uh, finished now. I've just remembered that the reason why I created this drawing in the first place was because of the prompt futuristic armor and so yeah thank you for leaving those suggestions i'll be using a lot more of those prompts in some other videos so there we go everyone that wraps up today's video i hope you found this useful if you did then please give it a like subscribe with the notifications on to stay up to date i upload videos like this every week and then soon i'll be uploading some more content over on the second channel so if you want to go subscribe to uh, that channel then feel free to do so i'll link all of the things like the patreon page the star uh, instagram and twitter down below in the description but that's pretty much everything so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video